All right, and now we've got the same location. Uh, again, the location is going to be State College, Pennsylvania. Solar time <clears throat> is going to be minus five hours relative to UTC, and uh, latitude longitude is the same. Uh, again, this is a polar plot of the same data that you just saw in the previous video. And the north of this plot is, is right down at the bottom. The south is up at the top. And I do this in this particular case just to keep the arcs in the same general direction. But you're going to notice some differences here. One is that the June arc is at the bottom, whereas the December arc is at the top. So this polar projection is what you would get if you were effectively lying on the ground and looking up at the sky with a fisheye lens and then trying to project that flat. So we see here that we've got the arcs of the day. The morning begins over here. The evening ends over here, right, in, in June time. And the progression of the day is going to be across the arc, again, from left to right, same thing as we had before, left to right in the winter months as well. But here you're really seeing the differences in the length of the day. It's, it's, it's probably a lot more apparent here that the length of the December 21st day right, is much shorter of an arc than the summer solstice on June 21st. Again, our arrows uh, are just, just pointing out these green arcs are days, and the red uh, lines are the hours of the day in solar time. So that this top location here at 90 degrees is going to be the top of the sky, the zenith. So the zenith angle is basically any angle down from here to one of these circles, right? whereas the altitude angle is going to be the angle up from the ground, which is going to be, in our case, the edge of the ring up. So we're going to see a, a, a zenith angle going down, or going outward to outward rings, an altitude angle coming up or inward, basically coming along the edge of that sky dome. right? And any one of these points of these green arcs are going to be a combination of an altitude angle and a zenith angle, or excuse me, an, excuse me, an altitude angle and a, an azimuth angle. And here, the azimuth angles are going to rotate from north, which is zero degrees, right? So that north right here is zero degrees, rotating along plus 30, plus 60, to finally when we're due east, we are at 90 degrees. And when we're due west, we're at 270 degrees. South, in this case, is going to be 180 degrees. So the azimuth rotates around clockwise. And 180 degrees is, in the meteorological standard, going to be south. Again, the I want you to pay attention to the one day of the year when the sun rises due east and sets due west, and that's going to be around this March 21st through the 23rd. It's a kind of a, a flexible date depending on the year, but it, it basically is defined as the day when within which the equinox occurs. And so uh, it's going to be one of the few days that, or the only official day that you're going to have 12 hours of sunlight, so we can count again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hours in the morning. That's going to mirror to the 6 hours in the evening, making it a 12-hour day. And again, that means that we're going to have everything in the summer is going to be longer, right? Whereas everything in the winter months are going to be shorter, right? And that's that's the flip that I'm talking about in the notes, the, that the arcs flip uh, back and forth. So long days are on the bottom, short days are on the top, or, or, or short days are towards the south, right? 
This should make sense when we think about the fact that the sun is low in the sky. Low in the sky is going to be closer to the these outermost rings. The sun is low in the sky in the winter. The sun is high in the sky, especially around the noon hour, during the summer. And you're seeing that right here, is that the closer I am to this center ring, the closer I am to right here, which is 90 degrees, the higher in the sky that I am. And so in the winter time, I'm close to the perimeter, which is close to uh, zero degrees altitude angle. This up at the top is close to 90 degrees altitude angle. All right.